Hey guys, Jim Bowers, Demon C. I hope you made a comment. Make a comment right now because if you are one of the first five commenters in any of my videos between now and April 15th, you are in the drawing to win a DJI Phantom 4 Pro, courtesy of acesdeals.biz. Give them a call at 888-239-2644 to put one on layaway. All right, today we're testing out the app Drone Deploy. This is one bitchin' app. So this app, you want to run it without DJI Go running in the background. You can open DJI Go and do your compass calibration and set your camera settings and all that. Make sure your uh, home point is marked, but then quit or force quit out of DJI Go and then open up Drone Deploy. It's going to automatically look for where you're at or look for your current home point. And then it's going to draw a box around you of about two and a half acres or so. You can take each one of these waypoint buttons and drag it around and make what I call a lawnmower pattern over the top of your house or whatever your point of interest is. Then you can go into advanced settings and you can drag the altitude get it up to 150 or 200 feet and then the flight direction either clockwise or counterclockwise and then in a uh, side lap if you drag the side lap bar over to the right you can increase the number of passes so instead of making four or five passes over the top of your point of interest it'll make 10 or 12. now the upside of that is it's going to capture more photos and give you a more detailed photograph because what you're going to do is after you've flown your mission you're going to uh, create an account at dronedeploy.com and then you can upload all of your images it's going to take photographs during the mission about every five seconds and then when you upload those 60 to 100 images to dronedeploy.com it stitches them all together and creates a 2D map for you in high resolution and a 3D map. So when I say 3D, I'm saying you can look at your house and you can rotate it. You can turn it and look at the side of your house. On all platforms, you're going to fly in F mode, but on the Phantom 4, you fly it in the GPS mode or the P mode. So down in the bottom right hand corner, you've got a little airplane. You click on that airplane when you're ready to start the mission and the uh, drone will take off all by itself. And then if you want to abort the mission halfway through it, just click on the return to home in the bottom right hand corner and it'll abort and return back to its home point. So let's get it off the ground, get it up in the air, then we'll start the mission. So here we go. Going up. And we're about 200 feet off the ground and we're going to click the little airplane there. Got it. Now it's going to go through its checks, its safety checks. So now we can hit the check mark in the bottom right hand corner and go. If you look at the app here, we've got the mission and a little preview window in the top right hand corner. Capture started. There it goes to waypoint number two. And you can see it coming off course just a little bit there because the wind's blowing pretty hard. But you can see every time it snaps a picture, you get a flicker on your uh, preview window up here. It's now going back to waypoint number three in the top. And we've got about five waypoints to go. And it's raining really hard right now. There's the Phantom 4 soaking wet. Now we're going to go up and we're going to stitch these photos together by uploading them to dronedeploy.com. Let's see what the images look like. We are over at dronedeploy.com. Uploaded all of the images. It has stitched them all together. You notice the images down there on the lower left hand side. And we are on a 2D map right now. If we close the sidebar there is the image that it generated right there in the center if we zoom in on the area 
you can see how clear everything is and how nice and sharp it is. So let's zoom back out here. All right, this next option is plant health. If we click on plant health over here, you'll see the map over there. It's going to change up and everything becomes a basically a moisture app. The area that's in red is without any moisture. That would be the roads. And the yellow is a little wetter. And then the dark green areas are areas that are really healthy, like trees and plants and all of that. So you can really use this app in agriculture. And then uh, if we switch over to elevation, and now elevation is going to show the high and low points. Down here at the bottom on the left-hand side, you'll see the lowest point in the image is 5.4 feet off the ground. And then in the yellow, it's 50 feet off the ground over here. And over to the far right, that red area that is right there at the top, that's my neighbor's house who lives at the top of a very steep driveway. Now let's switch over to the 3D model. All right, there you go. DroneDeploy.com. The app is available absolutely free on the App Store and for Android or iOS. So that's going to do it. Do not forget to subscribe and leave a comment as fast as you can between now and April the 15th. Go on over to DemonSeed.com and under Drones, there's always a hint on when exactly the next video will post. Jim Bowers, Demon Seed here on the YouTube Network. Have a great evening. Do not forget to kiss that flabby ass wife of yours and make it a wet one. See ya. Bye. Get off your flabby ass and subscribe.